have to ask our second graders a question. This isn't really for the adults today, but it, it could be. But for the second graders, it was last Saturday that you came to First Reconciliation. And many of you are there, hopefully all. We know that you came as a class. So I have a question for you. Do you feel holier this week than you felt before reconciliation? Who feels more holy this week than last? Oh, thanks be to God. Thank you. Put your hands down. I was kind of worried. That question could get somebody in trouble. But it is true, isn't it? You came to first reconciliation. You came to ask God for your forgiveness of sins. And after your sins are forgiven, you are a holier person. You're a better person. You're a person closer to God because you went to confession. Now, the challenge is we have to start over again, trying to be good, trying not to sin so that we can stay as holy as possible. We're all trying to do that. Father Dan's trying to do that as well. So this morning, when we listen to the gospel, Jesus is telling us something he told his apostles. This is a prayer at the Last Supper. These are some of the last words we hear of Jesus before he's arrested. And he's telling the apostles something they probably knew, but now they were here. He says, the Father in heaven and me, myself here on earth, we are together. We are one. And then he said, I want you apostles to join the Father and me together here. And he was doing that at the Last Supper. And he was telling them that he, they are going to be together so that he was starting the sacraments of the church. And what he was doing was what you've been preparing for with first reconciliation this year is going to be the next important step. And of course, you know what that is, preparing for first Eucharist, preparing for our first communion. And even though it seems so far away and our teachers have so much to teach us about the Holy Eucharist, about Holy Communion, you have taken a very important step by now confessing your sins because Jesus wants you to be with him, the Father, and he wants all of us to be united together. So today, at communion time, when you watch the other people receive Holy Communion, don't only watch what they're doing, holding their hands out to receive the Lord Jesus. Pray for them that as they receive Jesus, you too will come to know what that is like. And imagine the promise of Jesus. Promise, he said, I will come to be with you. He is going to come inside us. We are going to receive him so that we are united with him in the most powerful way, most beautiful way, the most spiritual way possible for us. And as we do that, we realize, just like now, what you're feeling holier, it's going to even be more. Because now, you don't get to just do that maybe once a month or every couple months for reconciliation. We could do that every time we come to Mass, to receive the Lord, to be holy, to become more holy. Not to say that we're perfect and we're not going to sin, but that we can be better. We can be stronger. We can resist what we know. Remember how we told our sins last week? Some of us had to think a little bit. Others, clear conscience. It was all very simple. All of us, including Father Dan, find we know our sins, and when we're with Jesus, we are with the Father, and it's a promise he gives us so today, let's not just watch, but let's pray as others are receiving communion. And Mrs. Mayer leads us in a song that we realize we are being united by the Father and the Son together in holy communion. 